Hi, I'm Richard Knutson. I'm the president of the Information Management Group. We're a Chicago-based training and consulting firm that specializes in SharePoint and Dynamic CRM. Well, Dynamic CRM 4.0 was released in December of 2007 and it has a lot of significant enhancements compared to the 3.0 version. Now, for people who need to customize Dynamic CRM, which is really one of its main strengths, is its ability to be customized, one of the most important areas of improvement is the increased capability you have now for creating relationships between the various entities in CRM, such as accounts, contacts, opportunities, or custom entities that you might have created yourself. So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you one aspect of that, namely the ability in CRM 4 to create a new relationship between two system entities. If you've worked with CRM 3, which uh, this demonstration probably assumes that you have a little bit of experience with it for you to get the most out of it. You might remember that you couldn't do this. That is, all of the relationships that were possible to work with between system entities, such as accounts, contacts, opportunities, the built-in ones, those relationships were defined out of the box, and you couldn't create new ones. So I'm going to show you an example now of how you can do that in 4.0, and in the process, I'll try to convey why it's important, why you might care about it. So I'll start by navigating to um, let's go to the sales area and let's just open up before I customize these entities let's just open up a standard account form I'll explain what we're gonna do here so on the standard out-of-the-box account form in CRM we can designate the primary contact for an account so for Acme Realty I could go into the primary contact lookup and I get a lookup against the contact entity so here's all my contacts and I could choose somebody and designate them as the primary contact for the, that account. And that's fine, but what if I wanted to have both a primary and a secondary contact for an account? This is not something that was very easy to do in CRM 3. In fact, it really wasn't supported because it would require another relationship between the account entity and another contact. But now in 4, it's easy to do because of these new capabilities. So I'll close out of here and let's start by navigating to the customization area I'll click on settings and I'll click on customize entities now I want to navigate to the account entity and open up its customization form so we'll do that there's the account entity double click or press enter on that to open up the form so now once this is open what I'll do here is examine the many to one, the so called this n to one indicates the many to one relationships. Now, these are the out of the box or the built in many to one relationships that are already defined on the account entity. So, you can see here that there's already one that's defined between account and contact. Notice that the name of this is account primary contact, so you can probably guess what this is for. If I open this up, and change the display name. For example, suppose instead of primary contact, I'm going to make this one the sales contact. I'll go ahead and do that. Sales contact. Even this, I'll mention, was something that we could not do in CRM 3. We couldn't change anything. Not only could we not add new relationships, I couldn't make any changes to existing ones. So this does show us, even at a pretty simple level, some increased flexibility that we have. So I'm going to save and close that, but now what I really want to do is show you how to create a brand new relationship. So what I'll do here is create this new many to one relationship by clicking the button you see here. Okay. And what I want to do here is I want to select the um, contact entity as the primary entity in this relationship. So I'll go ahead and choose contact. And notice that by default, account is the related entity because we started on this and we're creating this many to one relationship. Okay. And now what we need to do is let's give this a name. Instead of contact account, the default, let's go ahead and call this technical contact because we've already identified one of the contact relationships that we have from the account form as the sales contact so we'll make this the technical contact and here's the display name technical contact make it a lookup we'll accept the default value for everything else and let's just go ahead and save and close this so most of the work is done for us now 
And um, behind the scenes, what's happening is that CRM is actually creating a new attribute to expose this relationship. So now, really, all I have to do is to open up the account form and expose that relationship. It's going to be in the form of a lookup value that we'll have. So now let's go to the account form. So I choose forms and views. There's the main application form. Let's open that up. Now I really want to do two things. I'm going to make a couple of changes on this form is all I need to do. I'm going to change the display name of what was the primary contact. So I'll double click on this and we'll change that to sales contact. Spell that right. Now within this section let's go and add a field. So what I'm looking for here is the lookup field that was created by CRM behind the scenes when we created that new relationship. So I've got a lookup field to expose that. And here it is, technical contact. And let's push it up so that it shows up there right underneath the sales contact like this. So now, I could preview this if I wanted to, but since it's pretty quick, this is relatively small customization, it won't take very long to customize it. I'll go ahead and save this and close it. And then if you're familiar with custom customizing in CRM3, you'll recognize what I'm about to do next. After I save these changes, I need to publish the changes so that all the users within my CRM, all the users in our, our CRM implementation will have access to these changes. So I'll go ahead and save and close out of here. And then I'll simply publish the changes to the account entity. It says publishing customizations. And then the next time a user navigates to the, as soon as this is done, I'll navigate to the sales area in the site map and then go to the account entity, open up that form, and you'll see now that I've got a nice capability to select from different lookups against the contact entity to um, identify a sales contact and a technical contact. So now the, public, the customizations are published. I click on the sales area here. Here we are on the accounts entity. And if I open up Acme again, now you'll see the fruits of our labors. We now have our sales contact and our technical contact, and both of those are exposed by the nice, easy to use lookup against the contact. So now I can have two independent lookups for those two different pieces of functionality that I wanted to store here. So this is a good example of a real world business scenario that this increased flexibility to create relationships gives us in Dynamic CRM 4. I hope you found it interesting. Of course, this really just scratches the surface of the new capabilities of the new product. For example, we have a three-day hands-on instructor-led training class that goes into topics like this and other related ones for people who customize CRM in a lot more detail than I can in a 10-minute demonstration. So if you're interested, feel free to send me an email or visit the URL you see here. And remember that all of our classes can be attended via the web, where we even set up dedicated lab machines for our online students so you can get the full hands-on instructor-led experience, even if you can't come visit us in person in Chicago. Thank you.